Good morning. This is Keller Land on the Go with all you need to know in news and weather as you start your holiday weekend. We also have your boredom busters coming up, but first, our top story. The South Dakota Attorney General's office has cleared T. Denny Sanford's name after he was listed as an implicated person in a child pornography investigation. Last fall, the South Dakota Supreme Court ruled that the public has the right to view five search warrants involved in a 2020 child porn investigation. Sanford was listed as an implicated person in the documents. Starting in 2019, investigators searched Sanford's phone records and online accounts. The Attorney General's office now says no prosecutable crime was committed, but refused to provide further details to Kelloland News. Now, Sanford's attorney, Marty Jackley, provided Kelloland News with the following statement saying, Mr. Sanford appreciates the public acknowledgement by the South Dakota Attorney General's office that the DCI has concluded its investigation and that they have found, not found a prosecutable crime. Rapid City Police say Connie Unry, the controversial owner of the Grand Gateway Hotel, has been arrested. Officers say she faces three counts of simple assault after allegedly spraying a chemical cleaner on peaceful protesters outside the hotel Friday afternoon. Protests have been taking place for several weeks. Police say they've remained peaceful until yesterday because of Unry's actions. This March, a class action lawsuit was filed against the Grand Gateway Hotel after Unry made social media posts threatening to ban all Native Americans from the property. Governor Kristi Noem spoke at the NRA National Meeting in Houston, Texas Friday, less than 300 miles from the site of Tuesday's deadly school shooting. At the event, Noem spoke about her childhood experiences with guns and praised the American Revolution and the role of private gun ownership in the war. She then talked about the French Revolution, deriding mobs that tore down statues as the monarchy was overthrown. You can hear more about Noam's speech in this Kelloland.com original by Jacob Newton online here right now. The school shooting in Texas is stirring up frightful memories for some people in Kelloland. On September 30th of 2015, a 16-year-old student walked into the principal's office at Harrisburg High School and shot Kevin Lean. The bullet struck him in the arm and the chest. Lean, who is now a principal at Camelot Intermediate School in Brookings, is part of a group of high school principals across the country who have experienced shootings in their schools. He's reflecting upon what the principal of Uvalde, Texas, is going through right now. It, it, it's hard for me to say again because I, I know each incident has its own unique um, challenges. Um, I would imagine there's a lot of guilt. Um, I've got to tell you that we all share a lot of guilt. We all try to put that away, but when we meet um, individually, we wonder what we could have done to prevent this. Lean's group, the Principal Recovery Network, has sent out a letter calling on lawmakers in Washington to work together to come up with a solution. The Sioux Falls Lawn Care Company that accidentally damaged hundreds of lawns three weeks ago is trying to make things right with its customers. The owner of Cut and Kill says he sent out a letter letting people know that crews will start reseeding their lawns next week. This comes after a longtime employee accidentally applied the wrong chemical, damaging more than 300 yards. We've been in business a long time, and this is definitely an odd case that we've never had to deal with anything like this before, and uh, I look forward to the day we get to put it behind us. Eining says it's going to cost him a lot of money and that his insurance company is dragging its feet, so it's going to take some time. But he's promising his customers that they'll have green lawns once again. Let's get our first look at the forecast now. I'm meteorologist Scott Munt in the Storm Center. Good morning, Scott. All right. Good morning, Perry. Good morning, everybody. Uh, hot for today. Temperatures in the 80s, low 90s. A little humid, too, as dew point temperatures will slowly start to go up. We are forecasting 90 in Sioux Falls, 80 in Aberdeen, 87 in Pierre. And 80 today in Rapid City, watching for a damaging wind threat with any storms that do develop around 5 o'clock in the western South Dakota. And they will move east as we go through the evening. Other more details in the Kelloland Live Doppler forecast coming up. Perry? All right. Thank you very much, Scott. Well, Kelloland Lakes will be busy places over the holiday weekend. The South Dakota Game Fish and Parks Department says the fish are closer to shore at this time of year, so you won't have to venture far out into the water for a chance at a good catch. Interest in fishing has not waned since the start of the pandemic. Licenses are tracking higher this year compared to a year ago at this time. Well, if your weekend plans include camping, you won't be alone. Jellystone Park Camp Resort near Brandon is almost full for the holiday. Park managers are reminding campers to keep their eye to the sky with the possibility of severe weather on Sunday. Camp 
campers often have towels sitting out or coolers, that kind of stuff, getting that put back in. You know, hopefully it's not too severe that we have to worry about storm shelters and those kinds of things, but also knowing where you're, you're near a storm shelter to your campsite is another big item. Jellystone Park's bathhouses serve as storm shelters during severe weather. Bronze Age Art Casting across the street from Falls Park is hosting a Falls Art Market from 8.30 to 1.30. Market goers can check out a variety of local pottery, paintings, jewelry, wood, metal, glass, and fiber arts. Visitors can also learn the iron casting basics and how to bronze sculptures are made. Admission is free. Next door, vendors are selling fresh veg flowers, vegetables, meat, and baked goods at the Falls Park Farmer's Market from 8 to 1. Enjoy live music by Yuya Mix. The Farmer's Market is open every Saturday through October. Vendors are also selling fresh produce and other locally made goods at the Brandon Farmer's Market. It's taking place from 9 to 2 at 515 Split Rock Boulevard. The Sioux Valley Cycle Club is hosting ATV races this weekend. The gates open at 2 o'clock. Practice laps are at 4.30 with the races to follow. The track is located one and a half miles east of Renner Corner. Admission is $20, free for ages 10 and under. And enjoy a night of sprint car racing at I-90 Speedway in Hartford. The gates open at 5, hot laps at 6.30. The racing starts at 7. Admission is $20, $10 for students. Scott? All right, Perry, thank you. A lot to go on in uh, this weekend. And... We may have a lot going on in weather, too, as we continue to track strong to severe thunderstorm potential. Uh, first today, western South Dakota, around 5 o'clock, developing storms, western Kettleland, damaging wind threat with these. They will slowly move to the east as we go through the evening and early tonight. During the overnight hours, I think we'll lose some of the energy, but still a chance of an isolated severe thunderstorm warning due to some damaging winds uh, during the early part of tonight. Clouds may stick throughout much of the morning and into the afternoon in eastern Kettleland for tomorrow, and then we'll try to reload the atmosphere, bring in another round of severe weather coming in from Nebraska and southeastern Kettleland. That is an area that we will have to watch during the late afternoon hours and heading into the evening. And you know what? Memorial Day can be another day with severe weather. So here's our outlook for today. Damaging winds, western South Dakota starting at 5 o'clock, moving east during the evening, and then we have an enhanced risk for severe weather in eastern Kettleland tomorrow. We could see all modes of severe weather, damaging winds, large hail, even that chance for a tornado, and then that moves to the east on Monday. Though if the system slows down, that outlook could change and then move a little bit farther to the west. So we'll continue to watch that as well. It all depends on where the low pressure system goes. For today, temperatures will be warm, downright hot on occasion. Afternoon highs in the 80s and low 90s. Enjoy your weekend.